Well, they are the challenges of, of, of uh, joining a family. It's like being married and, and you, have, you gain a lot, but at the same time there is always a cost. Um, in the EU, um, the advantages are that you get the, some of the best countries in the world uh, deciding on legislation, especially in the environmental field, in the economic field, and you join them and you do the, that legislation together and you benefit with them. So that is a, a very important uh, advantage in all fields, you know, in, in innovation, in energy, you name it. So you are always involved in discussing uh, at, at a European level um, these standards and legislate the directives and regulations, which then you will implement yourself. The cost side is there's always an average which you might not be represented in an average. In other words, you will have to spend uh, energy and, and time in doing something which might be irrelevant to your country. Also in the monetary field, for example, that the rates of interest, because Germany or France are so big that therefore the average is dictated by them and they demand, say because they have inflation, that the rates have to be high, but they are not good for your country because you're not in sync with them. So if you're in sync in a country, it's fine. So there are pluses and minuses, but I think overall, I must say, uh, I think it was a plus because it motivates the country uh, to be no worse than anybody else. In fact, it should be the best. Although uh, Malta is, is defined as, as an advanced country, however, it started when it joined the EU as being below the average, below the 75% of the median, and therefore required funding for, to build its infrastructure in order to reach that, that, that average or median. Um, and those funds were very important because they were funds earmarked for where the priorities were if it's infrastructure, which infrastructure? You know, the main roads, uh, the main uh, telephone uh, system, or um, any, any, any bottleneck, which we studied ourselves with the Commission in order to prioritize. So whether in the environmental field, the fact that the, about uh, waste management, water management, uh, marine pollution, these are reaching those standards you require investment and these funds in the budget cycle have helped uh, Muta to conduct those but I think finally it's the motivation of the people and uh, in, in Malta being a small island uh, the people realize that they don't have resources there's no oil nothing so it's your brain your, your will to survive to do commerce to feed your family and uh, survive. And that has helped uh, Malta all along, not just while being in the EU, but overall, till this very day, I think that's also an, imp uh, an important factor. Well, location, um, with the advent of technology, with fiber optics and the internet, has uh, to Morocco and Malta's advantage uh, that in spite of our location being on the periphery of the core EU or European bloc region, uh, has made that irrelevant. Before we had the theory that the core would be the most advanced and then you get these concentric circles and the less and less developed the further away you go from the core. And that was, and still is, uh, the truth. However, with this fiber optic and IT, we can do business wherever we are. 
uh, in Malta and I believe also in Morocco, we have some of our youngsters designing things for, for Hollywood in, in graphic design. So it, it's, not, it's not important to be in Hollywood, you can do it from Malta or Morocco. So that's an advantage. On the other hand, the location has still certain uh, importance and especially due to this geopolitical and, and problems and, 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 and crisis and, and, and violence, um, it is very important. And so both Morocco, I feel, and Malta, uh, business companies have to physically place themselves close to the markets. Now we know that some places in North Africa are impossible to do business. However, still people need to feed themselves, to clothe themselves, uh, so there is still the need. And we are finding, at least in Malta, international companies who cannot base themselves in some places in, in Africa or North Africa being based in Malta and operating from there. And this is why Malta's growth is, is very high. I mean, we are now in the 6.3% growth. And that is mostly because business is attracted to where countries there's stability, political and economic, but also security. And that's so important for both Morocco and, and Malta to maintain their security because it's very important uh, in, in today's world. Business and their families want peace, they want security, they want safety. They want safety for their children and, and when they go to school. So this is bringing business uh, to Malta. And, uh, but also they need uh, the infrastructure, not just roads or telephone, but uh, um, professional uh, infrastructure, the sense of having the best auditing firms in the world and well supported, the best lawyers with international dimension, the ICT, because a company can be very complicated uh, animal and they, it needs servicing. So just like you, you're looking at a dockyard in a boat, you have to maintain the biggest ship. And in a company uh, example, you have to maintain and look after the biggest and most complicated companies. And since Malta um, uh, has reached that standard, companies of all shapes and sizes come to Malta knowing that whatever problem they have, taxation, legal, uh, accounting, it will be looked after. And that is so important uh, for the economy uh, to grow. And then it's a positive, like we have a, a negative uh, vortex like traps for some poor countries. They just cannot get out of a hole. Uh, once you succeed, the first step, second step, third step, that will be always easier. The next step is always easier. And uh, that's why I'm, I'm very op uh, optimistic for Morocco, for example, but also obviously for my country that once we have taken off uh, like a plane, which is the hardest part, now this should be, the effort should still be there, but we should be quite optimistic uh, for the future.